Um, so this is the third part of our um, Subaru T25 conversion series. We've stripped the engine bay um, of all the wiring, all the pipe work, um, and I can't switch cameras. Um, and we're going to paint it. We're going to give it a quick coat of paint before we um, actually start putting the engine, the Subaru engine, in the bay. Just because one, it's going to look tidier, um, and two, there's some rust coming through that we want to sort of treat before it gets too bad. So we thought we'd use the opportunity while the engine bay is nice and clear, um, just to give it a coat of paint. We don't really know what colour we're going to do it yet. We've got some purple rustoleum which we painted the body of the van in, which we were thinking of doing just to make it match. Um, but we've also got some white hammerite. Don't really want to paint it in hammerite on the, to the bare metal. Um, but we also think that white would be really good for seeing what we're doing during the conversion. So I guess in a few minutes, once we've cleaned all the rust up, we'll have to decide and stick a coat on. So yeah, let's see. So we've cleaned up most of the rust now, all the scabby bits in the engine bay. Um, we also discovered at the same time that some of the welding we did on the van originally um, in the rear wheel arches and down the uh, where the air filter is on one side and we've got our leisure battery on the other because it's empty. Um, some of the, the welding that we did on the rear quarters uh, on the back we've decided to sort of go over and clean up because it's not the best so we've just whizzed it all the rust off of the welds and um, we're gonna now apply Q-Rust to all the little bits of rust around before we slap some paint on it. So we've ground all the rust back and given it a coat of rust treatment and we've left that for a few hours um, and that's done its work now so now it's time to put the top coat on. Um, you can see it's quite crusty there. There's a little bit that's it's actually gone through there, um, but it's just this is not structural. Um, this little bulkhead bit, um, so I'm not too worried about that. As long as it's going to look neat once it's all painted, I don't really care. Um, there was actually I don't know if you can see under the chassis rails, like anything with these vans, as soon as you start chasing the rust, um, you're asking for trouble really. And since we were doing the engine bay, I kind of had a look under and the chassis rails were a little bit crusty. So what I've actually done is I've gone back down the chassis rails to where it joins onto the radius arms. And um, on both sides, there's the other side. Um, so uh, we've gone all the way to just sort of down near that bracket. Um, just taking the crust off really and just giving it a protective coat and the same on the like the rear skirt all this was kind of crusty so uh, we've taken all the rust off that uh, and and sort of like a bit under the rear corner as well so hopefully it should be pucker once we've done giving this a coat okay we've done the painting now um, it's not pretty it actually looks better on camera <laughs> than it does in real life um, but yeah, we we didn't rush it, um, but we're just sort of making it look a bit better, so it doesn't have to be amazing. Um, so we've done a, quite a thick coat. We paint, we use brushes, um, and it looks way better. We've done all the inside of the engine bay, and we've done in the uh, inside the rear quarters, and we've done sort of the back panel. We took the lights out. There's quite a bit of flare from the light there, but um, we've done the back panel as well. We haven't done the number, the back of the number plate hatch, um, but we've done all around inside. So that should stay protected for a while. Um, we painted the rust treat, treatment on it first, and then it's rustoleum. So I'm pretty sure rustoleum's got some kind of inhibitors in it. So that should um, makes the engine bay look tidier anyway. 